If you want to see me swatch the Tartiste Pro Glow and Blush, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elen, and today we are going to swatch this bad boy. It is the latest face palette in my collection. If you are familiar with the original Pro Glow, which by the way is available right now at uh, Sephora for I think 26, $25 to $27 Canadian, um, this is the palette and it is six pans, four highlighters and two contour colors, one cream and one powder. And you'll see that there is a mirror on each side. I will not open it completely because I will blind you. So that is the original. I've had this one for a while. And now here is the new one. I have not touched this yet. I just received it. And it is the same kind of packaging with the mirror on each side. And we have highlighter, bronzer, and blush products. And like I said, I have not swatched these. I know that it has very good reviews but it's not the same as for me as an individual swatching it on my skin and seeing what I think of the various products in this six pan palette. I am super excited to have it. I think that this is a very nice packaging, very durable packaging uh, that can endure some travel, it can endure some um, heavy use and that is great in my books. I think what I'm going to do is swatch three and three. So I'm thinking of doing, oh, just flip it back so that you don't have the mirror in your face here. The three lighter colors first, and then the three uh, more pigmented or deeper colors in the second set of swatches. That's what I'm going to do. I think that the top three work well together and the bottom three work well together. So I could be wrong, but that's what I'm gonna go with. So top three, and the interesting part here is there are no names on this one. Whereas the other one had, oh, the names are on the back. The other one had, let me show you. It has the names right in the palette, but they did not do that um, with this second batch. And I bet you, it's to come out with more of these. That is my theory. If you don't have the names in the palettes, you can reuse the six pan layout. Hmm? Yipper, I think that's what's going on. Okay, so we're gonna do those first three smaller pans. And I just, doesn't it look like these three work in a, a trio, right? It looks like highlighter, almost like a bronzer and a blush. It just looks like they, they belong together, almost like that naked, I don't remember the name of it, but the Urban Decay where there's um, a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. It just feels like that kind of a setup for those first three. Anyway, I am swatching. So I've got the highlighter, the bronzer, and the. Um, it looks like the sparkly finish was just an overlay. It looks pretty matte, which I am fine with. Now the peachy type of blush. We're going to have a Neapolitan set of <laughs> swatches to begin with. I like showing the fingers always. Okay, so let's do this. So we've got the highlighter. I'll definitely do a second pass on all of these. Oh, to see where I'm going to put the bronzer. It looks sort of like a bronzer. I could be wrong. And then the kind of peachy blush. Well, here's the first pass. Take a look at this here. Okay, so the, that second color definitely has some orange undertones. It's more like a blush than a bronzer, but it's not, It's a nice blush. I don't have a problem with it. So let's just do a second swatch of these. Here we go. So I don't mind these first three. 
I um, I think that they they work reasonably well together and I think that you could get away depending on your skin tone with this one as a bronzer it's a little bit orange but I could I could definitely see it especially if you tend to bronze just pretty much in this area and not so much on the temples or at the jawline you might you might find that this bronzer would work so we did the first three and now we're going to do these down here and I have wiped my fingers, so let's get right into it. Definitely more into the rosy and burgundy side of things. And a very rosy coral one too. Ooh, this one has some dimension to it. Okay, neat. All right, so let's take a look. This one's a little bit gritty to me. So here are the first, or the second set of three, I should say. The first swatches of the second set of three. And I like all of them. I think the only one I'm wondering about is this one. And I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's, it's very, very kind of, almost like, um. There's almost like a, a, an orangey neon aspect to it. It's very interesting, but at the same time, they're not blended out, right? Swatches like this, is it's hard to see because that's not how you would wear it on the skin unless you really, really like a lot of blush. So we're going to do um, these three one last time. Just making sure I'm putting my fingers in the right pans. <laughs> okay, second pass. And here we go. Ooh, yeah, look at that third one. Very interesting. I actually would like to wear this as an eyeshadow. Take a look at that. Neat. I'm not disappointed by these at all. Let me just bring them really, really close for you to see all of them. I like the highlighter. I definitely can use this as a bronzer blush. And I don't have a problem with the other four. That's fine. And this one almost makes me think of Mykonos from Buxom. I can see each one of these having its spot depending on the kind of look that I'm trying to achieve. And just the fingers once, once again. I really like the look of this one. Interesting. Well, that is it for the swatches of the Tartiste Pro Glow and Blush. Also, I would call it the second edition of the Pro Glow. I am um, pretty impressed with it and having not swatched it yet, I'm glad I swatched it with you because I think swatches give you a better idea of what is in the pan, but at the same time, the ultimate test is once you start using your favorite blush brush and putting it right on your cheek to know which ones are going to be your favorite, but there's nothing in here that to me is off-putting or that I think is not wearable for my purposes. I hope you found this initial swatches video useful. Let me know what you think of the highlighter and the blushes. I would love to hear your comments. And um, let me know as well if you think that there is a um, hidden gem in the blush and highlight area that um, I may not know about or that you would like to let folks know about. I would appreciate that very much. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care. If you want to see me swatch the Tartiste Pro Glow and Brut,